Good morning, YouTubers. Smoking my, I forget what this is. It's not the general, but it's the one shorter. I think it's like a Washington. Um, you know what I thought I'd just uh, come out here and make a video. I'm trying to set up some Christmas lights on the whole, you know, few hours I have off before I have to go back to work. Uh, like everybody else, you know, I'm working stiff. Uh, drive city bus out here in Fresno, California. Uh, I inhale a little bit. Oh well. It hasn't hurt me yet, but then again, sometimes these things never do. Who knows? Uh, I go for a spiometry test all the time, so it tends to um, kind of tell me where my lungs are at, you know, whether inhaling is hurting me, helping me, uh, however the case may be. But anyways, uh, I have uh, Dunhill's early morning pipe. Um, and, and here the tobacco, it's actually pretty good, kind of spicy, a little spicy, but a little on the mellow side of all things. Uh, I really like this tobacco, it's one I actually smoke with quite a bit. Um, being a bus driver, I work split shifts, and that helps me, or enables me, I guess you want to call it. Um, helps me, you know, it allows me to smoke a pipe at work usually. I'm, I'm just at home, nobody's here. Wife's out teaching class with my son. I think. Yeah. You know, but it's a nice cold day, about to rain from what I understand around, I think it's about 10 o'clock this morning, roughly. They're going to do it's about 8 30, 8 40, something like that. Right now, I just, uh, thought I would put this out um, for holidays holidays uh, holiday celebration is really going to be quite mellow this year um, I'm not going to do anything super spectacular I don't think but then again you, know, you never know that, that may change <laughs> with my wife and kids who knows? Uh, I know we're going to have the in-laws over quite a bit. Um, yeah, I think the in-laws, yeah, well, that's about it. My folks uh, don't really celebrate the holidays, uh, just due to a religious background, but also just being lazy, I think they don't want to get out of bed. Um, so we, we do at my house. As you can see, I don't know why, as you can't see because I haven't shown any shit yet. I don't give a fuck. Anyways, uh, I uh, recently I purchased quite a bit of Missouri Meerschaums for the fact that they smoke well, no break-in period, um, yeah, no no break-in period, which is what I like, but also the fact that it's what I can afford. Uh, so you're gonna see me smoking shit ton of cobs. Um, God, but anyway, I mean, uh, single family income. I can't make myself buy anything expensive just for the fact that it's, I don't want to call it a struggle. But I just, in good conscience, couldn't buy anything that's, you know, no offense on anybody that sells you know, the very well handmade pipes, you know, Joe Case, uh, Jay Cackard, uh, even Moonshine Pipe Company. Maybe in the future when I start making more money, but even then, you know, working seven days a week, I really don't have a lot of time to smoke uh, at home or be able to do hey, bags opening because I just don't have that kind of time in cash. Uh, you'll see tobaccos come in and out of. In and, out of, in, and out of, in and out of my reviews just because I can use those and I can make those a lot easier and they're more uh, more affordable the things they smoke um, I wish I would have got my hands on some Sleepy Hollow man fuck that shit this looks fucking good um, but that and then uh, 
I missed the ball on that one. I saw everything too late. And they did, then it was when it was available, didn't have the cash. When it, when it isn't available, I had the cash. You know, and decided to throw the money at my kids uh, for the holidays. You know, spending, I don't even remember how much we're at right now, but in any case, uh, you watch my Instagram, you see my kids playing with whatever they're playing with, and you know, designs and, and art that they do uh, that tends to help uh, with the holidays, but also, it, you know, kind of keep track of what their likes and dislikes are because Santa does watch Instagram. At least that's what I tell my kids. They're five and seven. I put on there, doesn't want to eat his food, doesn't want to do this, doesn't want to do that, doesn't want to eat. It's going on Instagram and Santa's going to see that shit. He's so evil father to a certain degree. But... Oh, uh, Alex Bird uh, really had a good point on getting pipes from eBay and stuff. I was going to you know, start looking. I may have bought myself some inexpensive bars. I have a few uh, Dr. Gribbows. Uh, yeah, I bought at, where was it? Was it CVS? Yeah, CVS is the one who started getting rid of all the tobacco stuff so I bought whatever they had on the shelf which is only like two or three uh two or three good bows and it was like ten dollars total it was pretty funny too I thought I was like fuck it is this is badass but um no I know for the most part I usually just smoke out of something I can afford you know I always stay within my price range I don't open up credit cards I don't have credit cards uh to buy stuff just for the fact that I don't know if you've heard Dave Ramsey, uh, the Dave Ramsey deal, but, you know, you know try to get out of debt, which is only $5,000 away. Um, we have just the rest of the note on the car. Um, yeah, we just have the rest of the note on the car, and that's it. And then we're going to be done, and then we're saving for vacation, and then we're going to be moving in about five, six years, going to Oregon. <sighs> Excuse me going to Oregon, uh, we're actually going to do a scouting trip right after the holidays during during Christmas vacation, and that's supposed to be a whole lot of fun from what my wife and I are talking about, being able to go out there, go visit the towns, and uh, go have some general fun. My kids like fishing, so we're going to go fishing, hopefully, hopefully if there's anything to catch. If not, we're going to end up going going probably snow sledding or snow, you know, something to do with the snow, of course, but visiting the town and just seeing what it has to offer, you know, it's only a town of 77,000, I think is what I saw on YouTube, um, excuse me, um, 77,000 people uh, in that town, which is not bad, it, it's a lot smaller, it's about, uh, it's about a quarter of the size of where we're at right now here in Fresno, California. Um, the Fresno Pipe community, I have no idea if there is one. I know there's a website by a bunch of old crusty guys out there uh, smoking their pipes, you know. It was a good day on the greens, and we just tend to uh, smoke our pipe and drink our Peroni or whatever the fuck. Nothing against um, Peroni beer, actually, very good. Got nice and wasted after one time at my cousin's house. But this stuff is really good. Check pipe tool. Gotta have those. I got handfuls of them. You have a local brick and mortar uh, called Cigars Limited. They actually have a really good selection of tobacco. Uh, a lot of pipe tools and, and pipes, actually, as a fact. Um, I'm probably gonna end up buying locally for some of my pipes, at least when I start out. Uh, I always wanna go low dollar, you know, low dollar for uh, anything that I'm starting a hobby with, just for the fact that, what if I give it up in another year? What if I ever give it up in six months? What if I think, oh man, I bought all that, I spent hundreds of dollars, oh man, but now I gotta quit. You know, um, I really 
try and stick with something for a couple of years before I start investing. It's like riding my bike. I ride a Raleigh to work, and it's all tricked out with everything. I've really stayed on that bugger for the past couple of years, and it helps me. I mean, you know, look at my face. You can tell how fat I am, but uh, it helps me stay mobile, stay active, and uh, stay with everything that we're trying to accomplish health-wise within this house. Holidays for me is just is just absolutely wonderful. I love everything that goes on during the holidays, and I'm able to really uh, do more uh, for my family and before everything else. Uh, work in itself is pretty easy, but you know, between the first week and a half to two weeks of the month, it's going to be hell because we live in a high welfare area, and these motherfuckers love to go to Walmart. Can't stand that place. I, you may love Walmart, but over here it's just a trap for the fucking horrid. Anyways, um, thought I would just you know, introduce myself. Joe, you see Joe Medium. It was just something I put on there, I think. It was an old uh, fire department name that I had from my captain. I used to be X 300 pounds. Uh, it was Joe Big for a while until I lost, I was almost at 50 I think, I lost down to like 260 and started calling me Joe Medium. So I'm still a big guy, but you know, still able to do that job even though I had to quit, just due to um, health reasons and attitude reasons of all things. Really kind of became this hard to thump whole fucking place, but in any case, Anyways, I love watching the videos. Keep them up, guys. Uh, I'll try to start investigating if we have a pipe community here that's active at some points. I know there are some guys that go to the local brick and mortar down the street from where I work, but I don't have that kind of time. I just, I work, I'm gone 12 to 14 hours a day sometimes, and the last thing I want to do is go sit around and ignore my family who puts in their time to see me. So I tend to really stick at home and pipe. Usually sitting in the backyard, shooting the BB gun with the kids, having fun, letting them play, and then I light up at home, which doesn't happen very often anymore um, with the advent of video games that have showed up in this house. But I tend to just really smoke on my own. I smoked cigars for a number of years. I smoked cigarettes for a lot of years. Um, two packs a day at the end of it before the old lady said no more. She actually didn't know uh, when we were dating. Then we got married. She said, you better knock it off. You ain't gonna get none. So I went to cigars once in a great while. That turned into a habit. But the problem with the habit of cigars is that you reek. You fucking reek. I mean, you smell a Maduro, you know, and, you, and a good cigar, you know, I love the smell, I love the taste, it's just very really intoxicating. If you want a good review, if you're looking to buy some of these cigars, um, Cigar Obsession, Brian, Brian Glenn, Brian Glenn on CigarObsession.com or on his YouTube page, he puts excellent reviews out. Um, should I smoke this? Uh, six Second Cigar Review is another very good one, comedic at best, watch his, um, Fuck Snow video, it's hilarious as shit, but in any case, I just do this, um, more of a relaxing deal for me, uh, like anybody else who smokes a pipe, it just helps me calm down, I have a uh, problem with anxiety and you know, certain things, in the fire department, it was just, everything was blown up, I was fine, but at home, if I hear bills are short, we don't have enough money or whatever, I just get all nerved out for some odd reason, but I think that's with anybody who has a home, has a home, thank you, um, if you want to send me some Sleepy Hollow, <laughs> Northwoods, whatever, if you want to send me some tobaccos to try, please uh, instant message me, uh, I'm on Instagram as well, Joe underscore medium, uh, you find me there, uh, I know the Dagners and a handful of people follow me, Stogie Farts, Fart Brother, uh, not really good at those because I'm not pushing out a turd, you never know, but anyways, have a good day. See you later, folks.